flip out once you get it finished. So hang on and I'll show you that. Here's a close up so you can see what it looks like. You've got the two strands coming through the neck piece on each side. Here's another close up so that you can see where it, you're going to sandwich it in between the two pieces of the neck piece on each side. two, three, four constrictor knots in there to hold this together. What we're going to do now is we're going to bend back these pieces like this, tie them off along in here so that this won't slip out and they'll secure it in place. I'll go ahead and tie them off so that you can see how it looks and you'll have a better idea. Now you can see where I've got it folded back and I've got it tied off here with a couple of constrictor knots. I'll put a couple more constrictor knots along in here just to make sure and some people will actually bend this back and tie it off again just for added security but I think this is enough. I've never had one slip out after I got it in place but I'll go ahead and put a few more constrictor knots on that tie it off and I'll show you the finished product. One, two, three, four, five constrictor knots on there to keep it cinched down. Also you can take a little bit of super glue, put it on some of the areas in here to make sure it stays snug. Be sure not to get any super glue on the parts that you want to flex because the super glue will harden this stuff up very hard. It will become brittle. But right in here it's okay to put a few drops just to make sure it's locked in place. After this, we'll go ahead and trim off the ends down here. And we'll put a few Turks heads on here to dress it up and we'll have a finished product. Pretty much the whole thing put together. You can see the part right here where we tied it off with constrictor knots. I unraveled the uh, sennet back all the way to this. Now what we'll do is we'll cut off these loose strands around this. Have a nice clean cut and we'll go ahead and put a Turk's head on this and this part after we get done and we'll have a finished lanyard. I'll go ahead and trim this off so you can see how it looks. I have the lanyard all trimmed up. You see I cut all the loose pieces off here around the bottom of the uh, neck piece where it joins up with the pipe loop. We'll go ahead and we'll basically the lanyard's finished now. We just have to dress it up a little bit. I probably put a maybe a six bite seven part Turk's head right here and probably a four bite three part Turk's head there or four part five bite Turk's head here and then we'll have a finished product and I'll show you the whole thing after we get that on there I'll go into a little bit more detail about the Turk's heads after we finish the lanyards and show you a little bit about how to put together a foot rope knot also so it'll be more simplified and clearer in your mind. We'll go ahead and get a close up of this part here so you can see how it looks. And basically we're almost done.
lanyard. Here's the uh, large Turk's head where the neck piece joins and a small Turk's head right here next to the pipe loop. We'll try and get a wide angle lens on this so we can show you the whole product. And now you just attach the pipe. And we're done. <laughs> After this, I'll try and show you how to uh, do some of the foot rope knots on a cardboard tube so you can see how it goes. It's very easy to do and also I'll put in a little piece about how to enlarge a Turk's head so that you can go from a small one to a larger one or you can go from a long one to a wider one. And we'll do that in just a few seconds. Make a long Turk's head. A lot of people ask me about how do you make a long Turk's head. It's not that hard. I'm going to show you real quick right here. Take your line. Make a few turns like that. If you want to make a longer Turk's head, you just keep on going as far as you want to go. But for the purposes of demonstration, I'm just going to put maybe one, two, three wraps on it. Bring your line down here. over your starting point right here bring it around cross over those parts all the way up to the top again and then tuck it under this one over this one over this one and under this one and bring it around there you have a Turk's head. From here you would double it or triple it whichever way you want to do it. Now this make this only gives you a two bite Turk's head. In order to make a larger one you just do the enlargement process and uh, you can make one any size you want to. It'll go from a two bite Turk's head to a four bite Turk's head then you can enlarge it again to a six bite Turk's head, enlarge it again to an eight bite Turk's head it just keeps on growing. 